flying drone taxi takes off. Drones are everywhere these days, and soon, flying drone taxis might be too. At the end of January, Airbus Silicon Valley carried out their first successful test of their autonomous aircraft. The all-electric drone flew at a height of 16 feet for 53 seconds by itself. According to Engadget, Airbus hopes to create a network of autonomous flying drones. The Verge reports that Airbus aims to create a production-ready drone by 2020. Would you ride one? More things to watch out for in the machine uprising. LAPD greenlights police drones. Say hello to my little friend. The Los Angeles Police Commission has voted in favor of allowing the LAPD to use drones in a year-long pilot program. Only SWAT team members in high-risk situations will be able to fly the drones. They will be deployed for aerial searches and gathering intelligence in tense situations. The drones will also be used in search and rescue missions. Every flight needs to be approved, documented, and reviewed. Weapons and facial recognition technology are also prohibited. LAPD officials attempted to address privacy concerns by saying the restrictions in place along with strong oversight would be sufficient, although many critics still remain wary. The commission will evaluate the performance of the pilot program after a year in order to decide whether or not to continue. Warning, warning, hit the self-destruct. Amazon has been granted a patent for self-destructing delivery drones in case of mid-air emergencies. In addition to a person controlling the drone's flight path, the drone would also have a fragmentation controller responsible for breaking the drone apart if needed. The fragmentation controller would detect any drone error and come up with a fragmentation sequence in order to determine which parts should be broken off the machine. The controller would need to be able to track the flight path, weather conditions, and topography to determine what parts can be released. Ambulance drone could help save lives faster. A Texas-based design firm has illustrated its idea for an ambulance drone, which could help transport patients faster and more efficiently than regular ambulances or helicopters. The ambulance drone is modeled after a standard quadcopter. It is roughly the size of a compact car. The drone can follow a GPS signal or be controlled by a pilot. It is able to travel above traffic and other obstacles on the ground, allowing the drone to arrive at its destination faster than regular ambulances. Given its relatively small size, the drone is able to land almost anywhere. There is enough space inside for one patient and a medical worker. It can either travel on autopilot or be controlled by a pilot remotely in the event of difficult takeoffs and landings. A single pilot can also control an entire fleet of ambulance drones remotely. Although the company believes the ambulance drone is a feasible concept, it admits the cost for each device could be in the million dollar range. Amazon patents mobile delivery drone fulfillment centers. Amazon recently patented a network of mobile drone delivery hubs that can deliver items from moving workstations based on moving vehicles. Amazon's intermodal vehicles look similar to shipping containers with fulfillment centers inside and drone maintenance equipment. The vehicles are designed to be loaded on moving trains, which are equipped with drones that can deliver items. Amazon's proposed network of mobile fulfillment centers could cut the costs of building fixed warehouses. The system could also be fitted onto ships and trucks. As cool as the mobile network may look, there's no guarantee that Amazon is really going forward with the system. UPS, on the other hand, has already tested drone delivery from its trucks, 